You can turn this switch and then you don't have any brake lights or turn signals or anything. Flying blind. I like flying blind. Okay, so you just turn it for the first position, let the glow plug heat up, and then... Uh, the only memories I have of these things is really sweaty, nasty, just... Uh, there's no park. There's just neutral and parking brake. So be careful with that, because the parking brake doesn't work good. Just only park on flat ground. Don't get it above, uh... 560 or it'll explode. Good luck. It has been a long time since I've rode in a Humvee or even driven a Humvee, like a really, really long time. I would assume you guys are probably having a tough time hearing me right now, so I'm probably not gonna talk a lot inside the Humvee. But man, it brings back some memories. I remember this one time in Iraq. Neutral, that. But here's like a quick, quick little tidbit. I actually took one of these in Iraq. They're completely different. They're like up armored on the side of them. And they were, I mean, the same insides, literally all, everything, everything here was all the same. I mean, there, there was a bunch of radios and stuff right here, but that doesn't, that doesn't really matter. AC still sucks. It didn't work. And you guys know the deal. But I actually took one of these when I was a private. It was like my second time really driving them. I never really drove one of them. I usually sat in the gun and we were doing a night op and <laughs> I was trying to adjust to night vision and I couldn't really see when we we're driving blackout. So there's no headlights. Everything was just kind of depth perception. which was pretty tough for a guy that didn't drive very much. And let's just say we took the Rhino thing off the front and I remember I messed up and I couldn't, I was like jumble messing it around and it had fell off the front and it was there to, to, stop, to stop us from getting blown up. Like it was like heat thing and it would go off and IED instead of blowing us up it blow up. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But I, I messed it up and I had to throw it in the back seat because I was like the front truck. And then we had to breach the gate and I just said, screw it. And I just pushed all the gas and I hit the gate and the gate of the dude's com compound went up over the top of the Humvee. <laughs> Hit, hit the 240 on top and then flipped over the back and then exploded one of the radio things that was on the back of the Humvee. That was probably the most expensive mistake I made in Iraq and it was one of my last times ever driving a Humvee. There's a new tidbit for you guys. I didn't drive very much after that. Nothing like picking up 40 tacos in the Humvee. This thing, this thing brought back a lot of memories. It smells, the sounds, the... Hey, but I wanted to show you guys something. Guess what? We've been working on uh, something with Demo Ranch and his new thing called Bunker Branding. That is right. Take a gander. Oh, you guys haven't seen it? Look. Just gonna go ahead and throw it on top of the tacos. Look at the new Lunkers TV logo. And the hat. And the hat. Oh, man. Yes, that is right. This is the same camel pattern I had in Afghanistan. I was like, you know what? I think it's time. So they are now available. There's very, very, very limited quantities of these hats and these shirts. I'm talking, look at this. That's so freaking American. So if you guys want to snag one of these hats or one of these shirts to be linked to the very top. Now, guess what? I'm only going to be down here for another like two days. But if you guys put in the note section, which you guys can when it's checking out, and you guys say hat or shirt, I will literally sign the hat or the shirt. If you guys would like it signed, but I'm telling you guys right now, there's only a very, very, very limited quantity of these because we didn't really know if people would like the new logo or the new camo pattern we're going to be rolling with. I had to bring it back. Had to bring back the old camo. Look at that. That thing looks clean. So if you always want to snag one of these and or one of the really, really, really Americanized shirts, they'll be linked to the very top. And then remember, put in the notes. If you guys want it signed, just say hat or shirt. And I'll go down there just away for you guys. Now time for some tacos. We're going to leave Sarah inside of a Humvee. This is probably her first time ever riding in one, but I think I'm going to take this. This is, uh, well, my first time riding in one of these, I think. Did I drive one of these? I don't remember. I don't think it was this one. This is actually Nick's. You guys know him. He's only, he's done some work with a, with a, with a rifle overseas. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's the fastest you've gone on this thing? Fastest, bro, like 150, 150. So if you guys don't know who this is, this is Nick Irving. He originally wrote the first book was The Reaper. So now he's got a new book out. Do you have one in here? No, no, I can put the other one, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys here in a second. But he wrote another book, but the first book, I, I think it confirmed, what was it, 38 kills? 33 and 30, 33 months. 33? 33 months? The other deployments, the other like deployments to Iraq and stuff, I was a, you know, sniper, DDM, machine gunner, and just really laid some dudes in, but it wasn't even like, 
You know how it is, bro. No, I, I read because yeah. remember you shot somebody at the very. It was with the 50 cal. Yeah. Was it was with the 50 cal. Yeah. yeah. So it was 33 in Afghanistan. Yeah. With three months. Yeah. Okay. I had to clear the air on that one. But how many in total was it? I don't even know, bro. Like there you go. Doesn't even know. So this this guy right here. If you guys think that I know what I'm doing. More than 33. More than 33. If you, guys, if you guys think that I know what I'm doing, this dude right here is probably the world's most deadliest sniper. No, you like, have the 100%. long shot, bro. I have the long shot. You got the long you, shot. Like, kill a long shot. But you have so many that you can't notch them all up. I mean, like... <laughs> Just put that in perspective. <laughs> it's, I mean, like, dude, I look at it like... As a machine gun or an assaulter, it's not that personal feel you get. It's more just like, you know, fast, instant, boom, boom, take some guy out, and then, like, you forget it. Not forget about it, but you go back and play Call of Duty, like, with your guys, man. As a sniper, it's like, you know, you're looking through someone, you know, looking at someone through a scope, man. It's like, you know, way oh, different. Oh, no, right? Yeah. Way no, different. I know the feeling. So, anyway, if you guys don't know who he was, he just dropped a new book. Is it, is it my, am I able to link it down below? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I'm going to also link Nick's new book down below if you guys are interested. Snag one. Do it. He's a good, good guy. Book. It's good, a good, book. good, good book. Good guy, good book. Good, good things. Okay, I raised it up a little bit. It should be good. You okay. raised it up? Yeah. You raised the car up? Heck yeah. Should we back it in? I guess that's what you get when you spend this much money on a car. You want this one? You want to shoot lemonade? Sure. I'm more of a Dr. Thunder. You want a Dr. Thunder? But it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom. So I think we're just going to stick with this one. Lemonade. Shove the can in there. Yeah, shove the can. No, just shove it all the way in there. All the way down. We're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Do I need to go? Yeah. Just give it a full send. Well, you missed. But you was close. You scared him. <laughs> we're sitting here waiting to get this thing kicked off. This is what they call demolition day. But I'm gonna say right now, the line starts there. I don't know if this, I don't know if this camera's doing it justice, but it goes all the way back, like way back over there. This thing was limited to 750 tickets. I think were sold, and every single dime goes to charity. And they're also giving away one entire six and a half Creed mower and an upper. So I mean, they're giving away some stuff for people that are giving me. I don't exactly know what's going on. I'm just kind of. Sarah and I are kind of just hanging out currently. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take over this vlog for a second now. See all these people? I don't know if you can see them. There he is, way back over here. Um, I don't really know if I did that great of a job. Uh, I don't really even know how to put this in my face. <laughs> what do you want me to sign it at? You tell me. Whoa. Just for you. On the bus side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, sir. Yeah. Alright, we're going this way? Going this way? Okay. Do this way? Okay. We're coming. Oh, look at all these things. Oh, look at that. Oh, American flag still flying. And back to the Humvee. Shut up here in a Lambo, leave in a Humvee. Good, good choice. This is working out really well. At least when I point to our dog's butt, they said, What were y'all, what were you saying about? So I'm going to throw it out there. There was a portion of this meetup, which I'm going to have to steal your clips from right now. And you guys are watching it right now. Robert, Rob, come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Um, yeah, thanks for coming out. <laughs> no, seriously, though, thank you. Your speech? Yeah. That that, really yeah, the really <laughs> awkward portion. I'm, I'm not really good at speaking in What's public. Weird is he, he wrote that speech out. He mm, planned it. Very, 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 very awkward. But someone had left us some sort of he, he, blown he glass? Blew the glass. Blew, blew, blew the glass. Blown. Blown, blown, blown glasses. Blown the glass. And right now it says, what does it say? This one says Rob and Matt. Hey, so. Oh, oh he didn't put it Hold on right. a sec. The box is backwards. Now we don't. Mine's a bigger one. No, I feel like that one's like a. Candle. Um, I get to pick. 
this one is for sure yours. Mine? Because it's pink. Uh, I'll accept that. Oh, it's a shotgun shell. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> that, one, that one's probably mine. Okay. Because this one feels like not a shotgun shell. So it's a fish. This one's a fish. Be a fish. Or a lure. Fish or a lure. Fishy lure. Okay, but let's... That's actually really, really... How did he do that? I don't know. I don't blow glass a lot, so I can't really tell you that. Be it's a like fish. It it's a got fish. a fish. It's got to be a fish. Weird shape. It's a it's fish. A There's a tail. tail. There's a tail. <laughs> yes. Like, so you're saying cow. that one's probably mine. No, this one could be mine. That's really bad. Dude, yes. yours is... Way nicer than yours. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say it, but that one's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. Look at that. That is really cool. That takes some skill. Uh, he this said things for our kids too, Rob. This thing weighs. What do you think? Take take a gander. That's a 10 Five pound fish. ten oh, pound yeah. fish. That's that's over solid. Five. You want that's me to open Avery's solid. For you? Yeah, knock out Avery's. Oh, Main one. Main one for Avery. that's a sharp knife. Yeah, I'll show you these knives later, guys. Oh, it's a ball. It's a bong. <laughs> hilarious. Oh. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's How do a you... solid thing of glass. Can cannon. <laughs> can cannon. <laughs> I'll take that because I mean yours look like a candle. <laughs> Hold on, let me set the mood lighting. Is that it? Is there something else? Yes. And uh... look, you can get married in here. Look at these lights going all the way around. Oh. Oh, oh. Out. Up. Yeah, I guess you could get married, especially since it's American flags. Shh. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. The smell of a Humvee exhaust just gets me going. I love it. So to everybody that came out and hung out with myself and Matt and Mary and Sarah today at the meetup, I thank you guys. We, we it was kind of a test deal to yo. We, uh, it was 750 people that we were able to have tickets for. They came out, they hung out, they shot some of our guns. I think we sent 1,400 rounds. Really? Four, 1,400 rounds went through Matt's. I heard the final number. Yes, it was 1,400 rounds per gun that went through the rifles that you were able to shoot, plus the can cannons. We're thinking about doing like a... Uh, they said they were worried that they got my, my barrel so hot Ooh. that they may have screwed up my barrel. I don't think it's like a worry thing. I think it's an actual. Yeah, I think it's were, a factual. They like, we shot, it's like, they facts. said they came and grabbed the gun, and it was so hot. Mm. They were like, yeah, we might have burned up your barrel. He didn't even, okay, so the thing is, he didn't even tell Matt. He's like, hey, Rob, I just want to let you know. Yeah, no big um, deal. $1,000 barrel <laughs> over here. He's like, he's like, hey, Rob, I just want to let you know. I think we put too many rounds through Matt's barrel, and it was really hot, and it might have slightly messed it up. I'm like, okay, cool. On the way home, I was like, hey, Matt, I just want to let you know, uh, hey, uh, your, your barrel's messed up. Your barrel's just, just to throw it out there. So, hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you came out and you guys know what the deal, click that video right there. If you've not seen that one, hey, click the one right below it. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. Don't do it. Do it. Leave a pizza. I love every single one. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm about to disappear right now.